Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So we're going to the next chapter of our curriculum, and the chapter is transitivity. Transitivity. Uh, there's two types so of transitivity. Uh, one is called the fi'l lazim, which is intra intransitive, and the other is called the fi'l muta'addi, which is transitive. So the first is what we call a fi'l lazim. Which, is, which means intransitive. So this cannot take a maful bihi, which needs to be present in order to convert an active fi'il to, uh, to a passive fi'il, because the maful bihi becomes a na'ib al fa'il. Therefore, the fi'il lazim, any fi'il that's lazim or intransitive, therefore cannot have a passive version. They can only ever be active. Uh, so this means the action affects the person themselves. So in order to check if a fi'l is lazim, we add uh, the word something or someone to the tr English translation. And if the fi'l does not make sense or it needs extra words added to it to the translation to make sense, then the fi'l is lazim. So for example, if we want to know if I voted, which is a past tense fi'l, if we want to know whether this is lazim or not, then add the word someone or something so i voted someone i voted something so both do not make sense unless you add extra words to it so i voted for someone so therefore i voted which is a past tense fi'l is therefore lazim because it doesn't make sense when you add someone or something to it the second example is i hit so this is again a past tense fi'l so I hit, let me test it, I hit someone, I hit something. Both make sense, even though only one is needed for the check test. So I hit is a fi'l muta'addi, so meaning it can take a passive version. That's why, you know, I hit, meaning you, we know who the dua is. But I was hit means we don't know who the dua is, and that's the passive version. So moving on to the fi'l muta'addi, um, which is the transitive so it can take a maful bihi, which needs to be present in order to convert an active fi'l to a passive fi'l because the maful bihi becomes a na'ibul fa'il. So therefore, a fi'l muta'addi can have a passive form. So th this means the action affects someone someone or something else. So we just note that if an active fi'l has two maful bihis and is converted to a passive fi'l, one maful bihi becomes a na'ibul fa'il and the other remains as a maful bihi a detail of what or who. So as per usual at the end of a, a chapter we always advise you to take a look at the vocabulary list chapter at the end of this book. Ideally at the end of every session this curriculum is studied so that your vocab uh, knowledge increases with your Arabic grammar knowledge inshallah.